Wow! See fine girl. See fine. See you really cry. I hate you. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been ages. If you want to see how I achieved this look, guys, you keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by using this um, Misnetic Micellar Water and um, a cotton pad to deeply uh, cleanse her skin to take off any oil, dead makeup from the skin we just want to keep the skin um really clean before we start applying anything on the skin after that i went ahead to use the cetaphil moisturizer to moisturize her skin i went ahead to use a zaron um, primer Modifying primer to prime her face. I let the primer to sit for a while. I let it dry down completely before I started applying my foundation. So the foundation I'm using is the Huda Beauty foundation. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. So what we're going for is for coverage as you can see for the skin work as you can see her skin is really rough and we're trying to cover every single thing every single thing just why you're seeing what i'm doing here the method i'm using i'm patting i'm not sweeping i am patting the foundation on the skin as you can see here right now just so we can have like a full coverage if that makes sense so watch me as i do that So this, so this is the foundation that I use, the Huda Beauty in the shade um, Gingerbread and Cocoa. This foundation covers really, really well, as you can see. Then after that, I proceeded to using this Nubank Beauty and Milani Concealer to highlight her face. Now this process has helped me a lot, it has changed my makeup game. Before blending I spray the face and I'm using the MAC um, Fix Spray. Spray the whole of the face before blending. Here you're going to see me use a two method um, of blending my highlight. This one here, um, I'm using the Beauty Blender first but I'll still go over with the brush just to, you know, put everything together. So guys, she is a client, not a model. Um, I just thought that she just make this video for you guys because some people find it difficult to work on a textured skin and also find it difficult to get a product that covers up a spot like this one right here. So I just let me share with you guys. I'm still 
going back and forth with the beauty blender and the brush just to get a smooth finish so i use this rg cosmetics lip stain as my liquid blush now i'm going to explain to you why i have to apply the blush first before i contour sometimes when i contour first before i apply my blush i notice that um i apply the blush way too much and it covers the contour so here is a hack a simple hack i'm going in with my beauty blender just to blend out the the hash line now i'm contouring with this maybelline super stay foundation as you can see everything is a place the contour the blush everything seamless i think this is another reason that i like applying the blush first before the contour when i am doing a cream contour guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so as you watch thank you in advance i've been away for six months and it has affected my channel so much and i'd like you guys to please support me by subscribing uh, i'll be grateful <laughs> for the nose contour um you will see the place where i made a mistake it wasn't straight at all if you want to do if you want to contour your client a client's nose or your model make sure you make sure their head the, the head is straight so you can get a straight line before blending out but anyways learn from my mistake <laughs> like i said she's a client and at this point we were in a hurry because she had to go pick her daughter from school as i blended with the brush i went back to my beauty blender to blend the contour and the highlight together we are here to learn how to blend like a pro so i am here to show you everything for my setting powder i'm using mirac setting powder in ginger this powder is have you used um laura messier before i think this is laura messier's laura messier twin sister see this can just melt in like i don't know i think i have to make another video for uh alone for this um setting powder because this is so smooth like oh my god just watch me as i'm just watch as this powder changes everything like i'm not here to hide this but they are coming to asaba if you're on asaba they are coming to asaba for the fair um i would like you to try this powder and thank me later i promise you guys you can thank me later So it's set as you go but I'm gonna bake the nose. I baked the nose and every other part I just set as I go. Just watch me as I do that. Just take a look at the skin, how smooth it looks. Anyway, I'm gonna set her nose contour with this dark shade here from the V palette. See how I'm snatching that nose you guys. setting the cream blush with this um, blush from F <laughs> I'm going to set under her eyes her forehead with this uh, powder the latest shade from V Beauty palette powder palette at this point I realized that I did a very good job you can see the highlights the blush the contour everything is just popping you guys please give me a thumbs up if you like what you are seeing then I use the next shade close to that light one to further set the whole of her face then I'm taking that shade to set her contour I 
went ahead to set the face with the MAC 6 setting spray. At this point, there was no time on our side anymore, so I skipped the whole eye look, the eyebrow. But if you want to see how I achieve her brows, this beautiful brows, please drop a comment in the comment section so I can drop the video for you guys. For the lips, I just show you the concealer that I use in lining her lips. I actually use a concealer and it's from Colourpop. Now I'm using this shade from V Beauty Palette Lip Palette to blend the brown before I use the lighter shade in the middle. So she requested for gloss and the gloss that I use in this video is from your source bro. I can't remember the shade. I'm going to drop that in the uh, description box for you guys to, if you like it, for you guys to go get it. So that's it for the lips. So yeah guys that's it and at this point she was like oh yeah yeah i love my lips so oh, i like it yeah, yeah i like it so i went um i had to complete the eyes by applying some mascara on her bottom lashes this mascara is from um it's my cosmetics and i applied some powder on her neck and yeah this is the finished look i love everything about this not because I'm the one that did this back up, but just a look at it now. So beautiful, so soft. There's no filter. There's no filter in Babuski's voice. <laughs> if you learn a thing or two, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Oh, me, I'm watching you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share this with your friends, family. Do take care of yourself until I see you guys again. For now, bye-bye. Love you all.